Hello guys, uh, today is uh, Sunday and Sunday we discuss current affairs as uh, usual. So I have taken some latest current affairs uh, of 2023 only. So it will be helpful for you. Uh, please see to that you subscribe the channel and please hit the like button also. In case in like as the video progresses, if you don't like it, okay, if you feel this is like not useful for you, then just remove that like just hit dislike button that time, okay. But uh, because at the end of the video, you mostly forget to like and each like and comment helps us reach more and more people. Okay, when a new student comes and sees our channel, they should be uh, understanding that it's actually helpful for everyone. Okay, so please uh, see to it that you are liking and uh, uh, every every video, okay, every video we put out, please uh, like the video. And uh, this is a WhatsApp number for beginners. Please WhatsApp me and uh, we'll take from the foundation. So current affair question number one for today, which of the following are true about PMPVTG development mission seen in news. It was launched in the budget 2023. Rupees 1 lakh 50 thousand crore has been allocated for this mission. One, two only, both one and two, neither one or two. So this uh, is a current affair. And uh, if you have seen my previous year paper, okay, that is a PYQ series I have done. 2016 to 2020 and 2021 also partially uh, fully each question why did UPC ask that uh, from which newspaper they formed that question how to solve that and in future if such question comes out to solve it some tricks some blind methods everything I have taught you there so then this kind of questions are very easy for you okay so here again this number you should see this is like a very unrealistic number. Okay, 1 lakh 15, 50,000 crore. You can't even imagine like how many zeros are there into it. So this much will never be put into a mission. Okay, so that common sense, if you know itself, you can uh, eliminate uh, two. Okay, so eliminate two means uh, these two will go. Now either one only or neither one or two. So now it's like the budget. So that is why every scheme I tell you, schemes in budget and survey, everything is not important. But the name of the schemes which has been announced, that you have to know, okay, because UPSC is asking these things like when it was announced, whether uh, Modi announced in the last Independence Day or the last Republic Day or maybe on the anniversary of someone or in the budget that when something was launched that you have to know, okay, and this is actually uh, true in the latest budget only this was announced. So the answer is uh, uh, one only, okay, and it's not that much crores, it is 15,000 crores which are uh, uh, allocated, okay, not 1,50,000 and all. So 23 budget, uh, this was announced and uh, this much is allocated. This will be used to provide facilities to all these uh, PVTG. You know, PVTG means the uh, tribal people, okay, that is particularly vulnerable tribal group. This also in 2019 or 20 prelims, UPSC already asked like how many PVTG tribes are there in India, okay, the answer was I think 75 or something. Okay, in total India, there are around 750 uh, tribes, you can tell. In that uh, one tenth of them are uh, this thing, okay, PVTG. So now, uh, uh, here it's written like what all will be given to them and like uh, how many okay 3.5 lakh uh, these things are there total tribe groups are there and uh, in certain areas the most vulnerable people count only I'm telling okay this much small so now uh, during this budget the government of India launched the PM PVTG development mission and this is the last full budget before 24 elections that also should know 24 you know in around May June time you will have the uh, prime minister election so that time uh, obviously in March uh, 1 February one budget will be there but that will be a half budget it's not a full budget meaning because the next government will come and they will change whatever is announced okay if it's the same government then it is uh, going to continue but else it's going to be not a full budget so that kind of things you have to know now question number two which of the following are true about Pradhan Mantri Kaushal Vikas Yojana it runs under skill development ministry it is implemented by UGC approved uh, skill centers program certifies the youth who are already good at a skill by evaluating them so this is uh, like uh, this uh, actual features of the scheme and this also UPSC have asked in the past the same scheme I think skill related uh, in 2016 or 17 a uh, detailed question came like how will they uh, take the people who are eligible will they get certificates this kind of same question had come so now the scheme is in news and you have to tell the ministry implementation authority and whether uh, the certification is there so here answer is d13 only okay it is implemented actually by the national skill development corporation nsdc not this ugc approved uh, centers and all so that is wrong but the uh, remaining statement one and uh, uh, three is actually correct. It is under skill development ministry and implemented by this NSDC and the program will give certificates to the youth who are already good at a skill by evaluating them. Okay, so main objective is to train the youth in wherever 
uh, we have uh, requirements in the industries okay and the complete cost will be by the union government so this also you have to know funding whether it is a uh, state alone or central alone or state and center mix uh, that kind of things you have to know so now what happened is this is a, not a new scheme but the 4.0 the new version has come where again maybe the number of uh, youth whom they will train will increase the number of partnerships will increase so every time they do like every scheme like you see udan 1 udan 2 udan 3 every scheme uh, a new version will come that version is nothing but they are imp going to open more centers maybe and going to train more youth that kind of some new certification process or maybe technology they are going to introduce okay like here new industry courses are to come like artificial intelligence soft skill drone technology robotics 3d printing because as and when time goes you know new new technology will come so you have to give skill and job in those sectors also okay so that is why this is a economic times article and from which we found the question now question number three amrit darohar scheme seen in news relates to options are milk production wetland protection medicine supply portable water meaning drinking water so amrit darohar scheme seen in news relates to what so there are a lot of schemes in the almost the same name. There is an Amrit where it's like you here. Amrit scheme is there and Amrit itself there is one scheme. Now this is Amrit Darohar scheme. So I know it's difficult to memorize everything. But if you follow current affairs properly or uh, maybe newspaper reading or uh, a magazine or a test series of an institute, these are very, very easy questions. Okay, because schemes are something which is expected out of you to study. So here the answer Amrit Darohar scheme is related to wetland protection okay so to increase the optimal use of wetlands in the cities and to improve their biodiversity the government has launched this thing okay the scheme was announced by finance minister during the 23 budget speech india lost 30 percentage of its wetland in the past three decades of all mumbai lost the maximum wetlands 71 percent of wetlands in mumbai were lost between 1970 and 2014 57 lost in ahmedabad 56 in bangalore 55 percentage in hyderabad 38 in delhi and lots more so all the major cities uh, the wetland is uh, going down so the loss of wetland is mainly due to anthropogenic activity meaning human activities and illegal construction works the scheme will aim to conserve wetlands by promoting their optimal use it is implemented in the next three years it will be taken care now the scheme will increase ecotourism carbon stock and also will help the local communities in income generation so it will help to achieve the 2030 sustainable development goals also you know you should know there are 17 sustainable development goals and uh, uh, 169 targets under it and you have to know the name of 17 goals okay like first one is poverty second one is hunger then health then education that there is a trick to study that is there in our Vaishaya test series students will get the charts uh, so others if you're not enrolled you can enroll to that so these goals you know in 2015 it was adopted and next 15 years we are trying to achieve the globe okay the entire world is trying to achieve these goals in which uh, this land protection and water protection is also one thing so this scheme will help in that okay so in the next plus article so it becomes important for prelims Question number four, which of the following are true with respect to Indian horticulture? Okay, so horticulture, you should know this vegetable fruits and all these things, which is a section under agriculture. So Indian horticulture sector contributes only 3% of the GVA, that is the gross value added of the country. Today, only 1% of the Indian land is under horticulture use. It contributes 3% of agricultural revenue. Okay, so the GDP, the agricultural revenue, the land which is consumed. Okay, so it's purely asking numbers and factual things. So here it is not expecting, UPSC is not expecting you to exactly by heart like whether it is 6% or 7% or 8%. Okay, that is actually needed for your uh, SSC and the PSC exam where they will exactly ask you the number. Okay, very, very silly number thing they ask and students by heart and go for that exam. So, but uh, UPSC, they just want you to know whether, whether you know the range at least, meaning is it like at least uh, half we are in that area, 50% or 25% or 5% or 0%. That at least a range you should know and tell whether these are realistic numbers or not based on your knowledge on horticulture. Okay. Because when you prepare for mains and all, you obviously prepare like how much land is there under cultivation, how much we are doing compared to USA and all, how much fruits we are growing. That and all you obviously learn. So this is just a test of that. So here answer is D, none of these because all three numbers are unrealistic and wrong. Okay, it's not this much low that uh, Indian horticulture is uh, contributing. Indian, this thing is contributing 33% of the GVA. Okay, here we are given uh, 3%. Okay, then only 10% of the Indian land is under uh, horticulture use. Here you are given 1%. Okay, then it contributes to 33% of agriculture revenue. And in question, we gave only uh, 3%. Okay. Now, to increase this, uh, all this horticultural crop and boost productivity, government is launching something called Atmanirbar Horticulture Clean Plant Program. And the main objective of the program is to increase the availability of disease-free plant material. So, this will help in the value increasing of horticulture and 2,200 crores are allocated 
and uh, this will promote the use of all the clean plant so clean plant means the plant has been tested for several things before planting okay so testing made before planting is as follows meaning they are checking for virus bacteria fungi then other are they economically important so many, many things are there okay so that's a long process and that is written here how they do and step by step but for, but for prelims they won't ask you that kind of things okay in a PIB article it is so this is why I tell you if you are enrolled to Vaishaya's test series right you don't have to worry about like PIB PRS and all you don't have to read it yourself I would have made one one MCQ on every important topic okay even down to earth magazine I'm covering and 10 11 national newspapers I'm covering so you don't have to worry all the hard work we, we are doing for you so which are the following are true fifth question even though there is a boom in Indian startups, there is only less than 100 agriculture startups in India at present. In Union Budget 23-24, there was an allocation of more than 1 lakh crore for agri agriculture. Agriculture Accelerator Fund was announced in Budget 2023-24. Okay, so all these uh, today's questions, if you notice, I have taken from Agriculture Point and also the Budget Point. Okay, because you know now it's March month, so whatever came in February month, based on that I have made these things. So it is a very like latest thing. Okay, it's not like dummy some random questions I am showing you. It's all going to be relevant for you in your prelims or mains or anything you are going to give. So here the answer will be. It's again dates and numbers I know but uh, you are expected to know these things if it is announced it in, in budget okay recent budget. So answer is B, 2, 3 only again uh, one re unrealistic number it's not like we have just 100 agriculture startups we have lots okay I think more than 2000 plus uh, startups we have and it is every day increasing every day 5, five startups will be starting now so first statement is wrong okay then uh, there is a 1 lakh crore thing it's actually even though it looks big it is actually true 1.25 lakh crore was put on agriculture uh, because we have this uh, doubling the farmers income and many many things are there even exports we are doing like lot of things from the northeastern states and everywhere we are exporting so agriculture is a field where India is investing a lot now okay so now uh, it was one of the seven major priorities also of the budget see 2000 agriculture startups and we are again trying to increase it to 10,000 okay and our agriculture contributes more than 50 percentage of GV of India. So it's very, very uh, important sector for the full economy. Okay. So here entrepreneurs, how they start their funding, they are uh, even digitally, they need uh, support. Digital public infrastructure is being set up. Everything is written here. Okay. So this is the thing. And uh, this fund, fund was actually announced in 23 budget only. Agriculture Accelerator Fund. So these are the five questions for today. Again, like this, every day if you do our plum series, nearly 2000 questions, you will get free of cost here. And there are many other playlists where we are doing revision. And when the prelims is nearing, I will include more and more MCQs. But again, okay, a person who is enrolled to our test series, they will be doing 10 times more than what you learn for free here. Okay. So if you want to enroll that, you can come and WhatsApp me all these subjects of different uh, genre. Okay. Whatever you need, uh, ancient medieval modern art and culture or history modern Lakshmikanth, uh, the full test of mix of all subjects geography which is having maps also uh, economics which is having economic survey and budget also then environment of all textbooks science schemes international body anything which is needed for UPSC will be there in our test series okay and we have been able to consistently help students score 100 plus in prelims so if you want to enroll okay you want to you have dedication to sit and read the pdfs which we give you you have a high chance of clearing so if you want you can whatsapp us and uh, we'll uh, let you know how to enroll okay so tomorrow next episode will come thank you and have a